What up, Box Every Family? We back again with another one. So we took a break for a couple days. I know y'all been waiting on a post, but I had to take a break for a couple days to get myself together. Man, I wasn't feeling the best. Um, I think I caught a little cold or whatever it was from my son. I had my throat sore, cough and sneeze and all that good shit. So, and I ain't really back 100%, but I'm good enough to where I can do some work. I actually got up this morning and um, did my sister starter on her car. And, uh, you know, went from there. You know, I relaxed for a little bit. And, I, you know, I got up once I felt up to working. Up to par, I got back up and just got back to it. So now I'm out here now to push the box Chevy back out. So what I need to do is now, uh, this is the last step that I need to do before I put the cross, uh, before I put the motor in. So I gotta, I'm gonna put this on top of there, this plate on there so I can go in and drop it in. And then from there, what I need to do is, uh, right now, like I said, what I'm about to do now, I'm gonna remove the cross member. Take the stock cross member off so it can be out of my way when I put the motor and trans in and then we'll be good. Y'all can see if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all seen this already, but y'all see I put the grime in and stuff. I ran the harness through the firewall already. So that looked nice and neat. So the computer would be on the inside versus on the outside. So that's, that's what I came up with. And as y'all know, a lot of these wires will be coming out of here. So there, I gotta pull it through a little bit more. You can see a little bit of the wires through there, but it's easier to do it with the motor out versus doing it with it in, because I can't work around that motor. So I went on and knocked that out. So, and like I said, a lot of these wires will be coming out. It look like a lot of wires now, but once I, you know, plug everything where it go, it's gonna look like less wires than whatever left over that I don't need. I'm snipping them to make it look cleaner. So let me get up under here and do what I need to do. I'm about to go ahead and um, take this cross member off and then I'll cut y'all back on. This is my nasty ass hand prints from being up under the car. I gotta change these out. I got those brand new too. But I got the cross member off. Y'all can see all the little rust debris from under there. I'm definitely not gonna be able to reuse those screws. I had to beat the hell out of them screws to get them out of there, man. Nothing, the two doors in the shop right now getting repainted. So y'all be looking out for that because that's definitely gonna be on the move. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I think one of these cars, then we almost to that 12K too. So y'all be ready. It ain't gonna be just no regular giveaway. Y'all gonna have to share video, screenshot it, send it to me, all that good stuff to enter for the giveaway. Cause we're gonna be doing some car stuff since it is a car channel. I'll be giving away some car stuff and I might give away a couple cash prize, maybe $25 cash apps or something, you know? So we'll see what it is, but give me a minute. I'm about to put this motor mount on, I mean, this uh, engine lift onto the motor and then I'm gonna cut your Y'all see I got this old rusty ass cross member out of here. So look real bad, that's the new one. This is for my 200R4, my 700R4. Now this is a G-Force one, it's for my 4080. It's brand new. So this is a B-body cross member, in case everybody, for everybody who was asking what cross member you use, it's a G-Force cross member for a B-body. see it sitting there tomorrow I'm gonna get the work I'm gonna um probably the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna probably put the cross member in since I took the other one out I'm gonna probably put the cross member in and then uh that way because that's why the transmission is slanted a little bit and you see I put the brackets forward that way I can have more space back there you know what I mean so when the stuff go in like the intake and all that stuff I have a little more room to work back there you know what I mean so I think that's cool. I could have moved it back a little bit, you know, but I put it, I put it all the way to the front position. Well, not all the way. I could have moved it forward. Well, let me see. Yeah, I could have moved it. No, I got it all the way back. It's all the way back. So I could have moved it back. I could move the motor back 
a little bit if I want to, but I want it right there. So, like I said, I like to have a little room over that right there. In case something need to be done, I can get up in there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we good to go on that. I'm going to measure it tomorrow. Now that I got it in, I can measure it and go get my um, drive shaft done now. So, we on the way, y'all. Like I said, I had to take a little break. I wasn't feeling too well. So, I had to take a little young break. So, we're going to get this cross member in tomorrow. And then, um, get everything else situated. So I showed y'all earlier. Tank, where you at, man? So I showed y'all earlier. And for those of you that was asking, I am going to dynamat the doors, too. I'm going to dynamat the doors, too. I got a whole other box. I'm going to do the doors. And then I might just buy another box for the trunk. But as y'all can see, everything looking pretty spiffy. That blue and that blue, they too far off. I interrupted. But it's looking pretty good, man. Like I said, the dino man, I'm going to do the doors. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm, I told y'all before I'm gonna change this headliner out to sway, but for now I'll leave it. It ain't, it ain't bothering me for now, I'll leave it, so. But y'all see everything I painted look pretty good, huh? And those colors are damn close, right? So that's pretty close, but uh, everything is in there, man. Let me see something. I wonder if that piece is up under here that I vacuum it up. Who knows? Who knows, I dropped that piece, you know, the piece that goes through the gear shifter right there. I don't know, I picked it up. I thought I picked it up, I'm about to look for it. But uh, everything looking pretty spiffy. And this is what I did too. As I was putting these in, I broke one of the buttons right there. So I gotta take that out, I'm gonna glue it back. And then uh, it'll be straight, so I ain't tripping. But see how neat the wire harness is through there. So I'm gonna put it up in the dash door. I'm gonna put it up in the glove compartment. I don't want it in the factory location because I gotta put my new kicks. Got some new kicks on the way, new rear deck, uh, center console. And I got some little uh, things that go over this. They gonna cover that up with some black mesh behind them. They gonna cover up those. Instead of me putting the factories back in, I had to make me some custom little kick, I mean some little, you know, some little flare panels to go over there with a little mesh in it. So it's gonna look real good, man. Attention to detail, attention to detail. But we coming along. Coming along. Yes, sir. Making progress, making progress, y'all. So as of now, y'all see I just put the cores back on. Intake, I just set that up there. It ain't bolted down yet. Put my sensors in, my, my uh, oil sensor and my uh, temp sensor. Put both of those in. And then, um, like I say, put the front serpentine set up on. So I'm going to come back out here. I'm done for the day. I'm going to come back out here tomorrow. I'll put the headers on. And then... Uh, Pretty much what else I'm doing? Put the header on. And I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start connecting the wire harness tomorrow. So I say at least in the, in the next few days, we should at least have it cranking. Might have it running. To be honest with you, because it ain't shit to get it running. My vat's already deleted on the computer. What I do is really plug it up. So we might have it running within the next within the next week. We ain't be hearing it running for sure. So y'all, let me know what y'all think. But we definitely, definitely making progress. The motor and trans is in. I still got to get under there put the cross member up. That's why the motor slanted back a little bit because I ain't put the cross member in yet. It's right here. So I'm going to get the cross member in tomorrow too. That's probably going to be the first thing I do to start the day off is get the cross member in there and then go from there. So, but other than that, y'all let me know what y'all thinking. As y'all know, a lot of these wires do not belong in here. So once everything gets hooked up, all the excess wires that I don't need will be getting snipped out. So it'll be looking clean like the two door. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. Get in the comment section, let me know what y'all think. Yeah, so once again, man, it'll be a card show July 24th. That's next Sunday. Not this Sunday coming up, but the next Sunday, July 24th at Bolero's. I'm going to put the flyer either in this video or I'm going to put it up on the screen now. Or I'm going to put it at the beginning of the video and I'm going to put it on the screen now. But y'all make sure y'all pop out if y'all in the area, man, in the Milwaukee area. Come chop it up with your boy. Y'all know I'm a special guest at the car show. Yeah, I know, I know. But uh, they having me as a special guest. It's the biggest car show of the summer in Milwaukee. Damn near to me and West, one of the biggest car shows, man. All the big names pop out every time. Just to make a little quick example, uh, I don't know, is it last year? No, last year or the year before last, CJ on 32s was the special guest. 
So now, guess who the special guest is this year? Your boy. So we making progress, man. Y'all just keep fucking with me. Like I said, if y'all see me, pop out there. Come show me who y'all here. Shake hands, whatever, man. Let me know y'all subscribe. And y'all, don't be don't be scared to speak, though, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of folks will see you there. Just look at you. Won't say nothing. You might subscribe or you rock with me. Pull up on me, man. We gonna chop it up. I ain't like that. But uh, it's gonna be July 24th at Boleros. Make sure y'all be there, man.